I decided to become an orientation leader because after doing my two years living on campus and not really getting involved in anything, around my second year I kind of felt that it was time for me to start getting involved, for me to like really fulfill my Towson experience. And in my dorms I saw the flyers around for being an orientation leader and I've always thought I was a good leader so I was like alright this should be something I should try and that's what made me do it. Well, I decided to become an orientation leader after I got hired for my resident assistant job and I figured out how much I really like uh, interacting with and helping students. Um, and I wanted to meet students before they really came to Towson and get them as excited to come here as I was. I think a good orientation leader is someone who's really passionate um, about helping students also someone who wants to have a positive attitude and is really flexible because without the ori throughout the orientation day, it's, things are constantly changing, things come up that you don't expect, but you really have to be passionate about wanting to give students and their families the best experience possible. Being a leader and being, I guess, an ally or a friend, somebody who helps out, doesn't always take the same form. I was very used to like somebody who you know takes the lead, takes charge, is very abrasive, very upfront. But I realized that's not really the case at all. Like you meet people who are very introverted, very quiet, who are just as good as anybody else, who do an amazing job, connect with people, and change people's lives. If I had to describe being an orientation leader in one word, I would say an orientation leader is someone who's dependable. A resource. A friend support. Perseverance. An orientation leader in one word is a connection.